Hi, it's Steve again. Uh, why don't we talk about herd immunity? You hear that a lot. I'm a veterinarian and I spent a lot of my time involved with herd immunity. Um, there were three types or three links of immunity you could achieve in order to have your herd immunity. The first was lifetime immunity. If you got a certain disease or certain vaccines, they would impart lifetime immunity to you. You build up a huge population of immune people. If somebody susceptible comes in, the people they're next to are immune, you don't get spread of disease. That would be like, uh, oh, brucellosis in cattle. You vaccinate them as a calf, they're protected for life. Then you have vaccines that don't last as long, but they're substantial. Like in dogs, we give a three years rabies shot to them. So that lasts three years, and every three years we repeat that. And then there are vaccines that only last about a year, and we have to repeat those on a continual basis. And those in cattle would be like bovine virus diarrhea or respiratory viruses of such, in dogs and cats distemper, those type of shots that they get on a yearly basis. But the idea is that you protect, protect a large number of the population, don't have to protect them all, but it safeguards everybody else. Now, in people, we have the same thing. Uh, we have a large herd immunity of uh, measles and chicken pox in kids. I got those diseases as kids. That's how I got my immunity. Other kids got vaccines, but the immunity is lifetime. So we don't have to worry about too many things in that order. Uh, then there are the ones you have to repeat every so often, like a, a tetanus shot every 10 years. So we have that. And then we have the short-term ones, like um, the flu vaccine and so many flu strains we don't know if we have the right vaccine for the right flu strain so we get that once a year but the idea protect a bunch of people which is kind of an internal social distancing if you're around six people chances are five of them are protected that sixth person is not going to be at risk let's look at corona what do we know we don't know anything we don't know if you get the disease, do you get immunity? If you do get that immunity, how long does that immunity last? Is it one of these that lasts a year and then you get it again? Or is it one of these that lasts for 10 years or a lifetime? We don't know. We don't have a vaccine. We're working on a vaccine, but we don't have one yet. We don't know when we get that vaccine and we don't, won't know for a period of time if that gives us that one year immunity or any immunity or the lifetime immunity. So you have these people who want to do the herd immunity. Let's open it up. Everybody go out and get it. It's only a 98%, it's 2% death rate. Well, in the United States, that would mean that 7 million people die. And then if it turns out that, that protection only lasts a year, then the next year, another 7 million are going to die. So jumping into this herd immunity as an answer, now us not knowing anything is dangerous because first time you get this disease, you can recover. The second time they say, you're not going to make it. So we have to be very careful. People talk about Sweden where they don't have any social distancing. They don't have, you know, they're relying upon trust. Well, you can trust in Sweden. It's only 10 million people. They're in, a, they're in a country the size of California, and they're pretty with it people, and they obey their government, so they keep their distance. And the other thing about the trust is they have to stay home if they're sick. Well, they have free health care and paid sick leave for everyone, so they're likely going to stay home. Here, in our country, maybe not. So the Sweden thing isn't going to work for us. And if Sweden, they have 20,000 people with the disease, 2,300 deaths, that's a 12% death rate for Sweden. And if the immunity only lasts a year, they're going to look at that 12% every year. And we're going to look at 7 million people every year. So I'm just saying we need to wait on that. Before everybody jumps on that bandwagon about going out and get herd immunity, uh, realize the uh, restrictions we have on that. So I hope that clears up a little bit for you. Stay safe. Thank you.